Well, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Windows Repair Toolbox. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, Windows Repair Toolbox, I did a review on this quite some time ago, but there's been a lot of changes, and uh, Alex has been working pretty hard on it. So I wanted to uh, give it another little look at and just show you exactly what changes have been made. You can get it from his website here. We've also got a forum post on my forum uh, which Alex runs and uh, if you've got any suggestions or any problems or bugs or anything like that you can post them on here and uh, he generally looks on here regularly and picks them up and can make those changes or uh, fix those bugs and you can see there's 31 pages of it on the here there's quite a lot uh, of people adding stuff in so if you are a computer tech or you want to use it then uh, check it out I'm going to take a look at it right now and show you what it is. It does run off of a USB. And I'm just going to click next. And you can create a shortcut if you wish. And I'm going to install. There we go. So you can see here, we're going to just launch this. And this will load up. And... Uh, can see something here CPU temperature monitoring will not work okay so let's first start off with the uh, first section here so we're under the tools area you can see there's quite a lot of uh, tools here that you can uh, use so you've got HW monitor HW info here CPU Z and also SSD Z and GPU Z, which is pretty good uh, for monitoring. So if you click on these, basically what's going to happen, it will start to download and then it will uh, allow that program to open. So we're going to just let that happen. I'm going to say yes. And again, you can create a desktop shortcut here. I'm just going to open this up. And there we go. And it will open up here and you get your information for your graphics card again we've got your backup section here so this is your hardware section your stress testing and stuff like that you've got your backup section here for your backup as you can see uh, you got a iomi uh, backup which is a pretty cool program so if you click on this and say do you want to proceed i'm going to say yes and it will then start to download you can see that one's about 86 uh, megabytes in size so just let that come down we'll move on to the next section here useful tools you can see diagnosis uh, nanite is there which is a very good tool uh, grant uh, permissions uh, whiz tree there's loads of good stuff on there as you can see uh, also windows here we've got um, check disk c we've also got check disk c uh, space forward slash r and you've got some others on here as well I'm going to click OK here. That's just starting to install now. So I'm just going to quickly install that. And then moving on up to the repair section, you can see we've got a bunch of repair stuff here. Easy fix, troubleshoot, and so on up the top here. You've got your uh, FRST, which is a great tool. You can see here they've got little pop-up bubbles on here that do give you some information, which is pretty useful as well. Also, uninstallers here, very useful to have uninstallers. Uh, for programs that you need to uninstall. Let me just close that back down. That's all gone in now. So that was the only backup backup we just uh, installed. You can see it's gone installed there. And if I click on this now, it should be uh, running. There we go. So as you can see here, down the bottom, we've got some information. You've got the OS, which is your operating system that you're running, your memory and also your CPU. Temp is unavailable here. You've got your BIOS and also your disk. This is a virtual disk, by the way. So you can see internet connection status is green, so it's on. And, and that's the section here for the tools. We've got your malware removal area here. And uh, you can see here we've got a run uh, RKill, TDSS killer, and you've got Microsoft uh, Safety Scanner. MC Soft, Viper Rescue, and Kaspersky. 
you can run unattended so you can just put your ticks in here and you can run unattended as well if that's your thing and also we've got unattended fix settings you've got hitman pro here road killer adw cleaner uh, norton pe uh, zimana and malware bytes on there as well repair win repair all in one uh, C cleaner, disk defrag, auto runs, and then you've got some other stuff here update Windows, Java, Adobe Flash, and Adobe Reader. And you can see the little monitor here on the side, which is a nice little uh, touch there. And uh, moving down the bottom, these will stay the same as the front. And then moving on to your custom tools, you can see here uh, you can uh, download and run. ESET online scanner you can see that here so if you started this here uh, on this one here you start it will download ESET online scanner and it will start to run that so you don't have to download and you can add more custom tools inside here if you wanted to so you can just uh, add them in here uh, so you can have a list of your own little custom tools that you'd like to run in this list here if you want to see more videos on that let me know and I'll try and make those videos for you but as you can see here, we just got one here just to give you an example. And uh, moving on to the final tests. You see you've got your reports, uh, you've got your Flash Player, Java, Word, Excel, and so on. And then uh, webcam, you've got your webcam test here. Record, stop, start, play. Moving on to notes, is your notes, if in case you want to drop some notes in there, some settings. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you've got your brand in here as well, and some other areas here. So that's the about uh, section here, about Alex and uh, his software. If you think it's a really decent piece of software, and you want to help him in his calls to keep continually making this software and adding new changes to it you can also uh, consider a donation which is the donation button on there and also you can see his email address is there as well if you want to contact him personally uh, and, so, and make suggestions there or you can make them on the forum or you can make them on his website there's loads of places you can uh, ask for suggestions okay anyway that's pretty much it it's just a quick overview of the windows repair toolbox Hope this one helps you out. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I want to say a big thank you to Alex for continuing to work on Windows Repair Toolbox. And I wish him all the best in the future uh, for his future updates. Anyway, thanks again for you guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.